some beautiful original classical music there from local artist Harry Edwards. It's Platform, your weekly arts and culture show. My name's Sam Day. This is Future Radio. We're on 107.8 FM on DAB and online, futureradio.co.uk. An exhibition curated by artist Yena D. Ivanov is happening later this summer. Inspired by visiting the Alexander McQueen show in London, Yena D. will be transforming the Undercroft into a labyrinth to show both local and international artists' work on themes exploring asylum. The artwork will be large scale and the exhibition an immersive theatrical experience, the drama making the visitor feel part of the show. Claire started by asking Yena D about the Undercroft itself. Some people will know about the Undercroft space, but um, for those who haven't been in there, where is it and what is it about it that you like? This space below the Memorial Garden, opposite City Hall. It's an interesting space. It's very bold and mm. wild. <laughs> we like to transform the space to create our own story and our own um, kind of unusual, different exhibition space. Because you can work with it, you can play with it, you can... <laughs> it's like a pipe. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a pipe with lots of noises. All these yeah. things can yeah. happen. Yeah. 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 So yeah, what is going to be happening come August when your new exhibition opens? So, I try to organize um, a few local artists, local and not local, some artists from Cambridge, London, from Scotland, from um, uh, Russia, and of course as main from Norwich. The exhibition called Asylum, this is exhibition, it will be like one big installation with pieces of art. So there's a common theme, is that the brief, and they've, they've brought forward their work that explains or interprets asylum. No, in I, didn't, I didn't try I didn't uh, ask people to submit artwork. I was looking for artists who painting similar thing or used to work on um, with these ideas. Well, because asylum have a few meanings, like a madhouse. Or <laughs> yes. <laughs> asylum seekers. Safety. Safety, safety. safety, shelters. Because we have a kind of labyrinth, I'm building like a labyrinth. It will be semi-darkness. With spotlights, strobe light, mm -hmm. they quite interesting, flashy, and um, possibly scary because everything uh, very big, large scale paintings, sculptures, installations, photographs. We have a video. What I want to create, I want to create a big drama, a theater, and to involve, to invite everyone to be a part of this, to feel to look at big paintings and to feel what I feel or this person feeling what artists feel and think, think more deeper. Sounds like this could be or will be a very powerful experience. Yeah, that's right. In that but actually last year the War and Peace exhibition was, mm. uh, because it was successful, because people were so excited by, by theme and objects art object. I remember it was lots of tears, well, it was lots of emotion. That's actually what every art exhibition must to give, to bring happiness or non-happiness. Yeah. Uh, to provoke something in to you, provoke, to provoke yeah. some sort to of feeling you. or reaction or thought reaction, or yeah. memory or something Memories, like that. Yeah. And this is the experience what we have now with Brexit, people disorientated they lost their own shelters, they we live in this little island and uh, we lost it. Well, we're losing it, we're like, I don't know, we'll, we're disorientated, I think, literally. <laughs> are we going back to the feudalism or are we going <laughs> to the future? <laughs> um, bright future or the dark future? Yeah, this we is don't actually, know, do yeah, we? Exactly. we just don't know. And this is kind of, it's now is so, and people, I don't want people worrying about this, asylum is not just only about migrants, because I know as people now there's lots of problems with uh, migrants across the Britain. People uh, open their minds and they start to blame them and you know, just like you know, <laughs> hate them. And, uh... Yeah, in this country we have this uh, uh, vote for Brexit, and, uh, and nobody knows do we save now or not. Like uh, uh, 
little island now, like in one big shelter <laughs> asylum. Yeah, and uh, I, I want to say about um, some artists who participate in um, the asylum exhibition. Mm -hmm. We have um, a sound installation that was made by Joanna Abel, a good artist from London, sculptor Pauline Antrim. We have um, artist Alexandra Bluff. Last year she done a very successful installation with her shoes and this year she's making uh, another installation. Yeah. And um, Julia Cameron, a local quite famous photographer, she's uh, making uh, a very large scale photograph, around seven meters. Seven meters? Yeah, photograph. Installations um, by Viv Castleton and uh, Linda Chapman, uh, drawings, uh, Richard Cleveland paintings, photographs, uh, Andy Hornet installation as well, and a, f a few uh, young uh, local artists like Nick Denny, Catherine Your Martin, Paul Jennings. And that was uh, Claire, Claire Kidman talking to Yanadi Ivanov about Asylum, the exhibition he is curating at the Undercroft. It starts on the 12th of August and runs until the 10th of September. Thank you.